Okay, the overall energy of your reading is the Page of Wands. This is about, I think, making the declaration to yourself is what I think it is. I think it's like holding on to a staff of fresh starts and new beginnings. And you're like saying, hey, I'm not settling anymore. I'm not settling for what I don't want. I'm not putting up with what I don't want. I'm looking out for me. And I know what I want. And I'm going to hold out for it. Something like that. Some sort of declaration for yourself. Up here in your highest energy is the Justice card. Makes lots of sense. Because the Justice card here, you're in self-defense. And you're trying to stay balanced. And that's why you're making this declaration. That you are going to hold out for what you really want in a relationship. This is the card for Libra. Libra might be strong in your chart or someone else's chart around this reading. So next to the Justice card is the Lovers. And look, there is somebody out there. Look, you're not alone. Your Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides are trying to bring you together with somebody here. And this is a divine soulmate. This is someone you might have been lovers with in another life. It's a very strong connection. So here's a clue that when your eyes meet, there's going to be a spark. And, and you're both going to feel it. You're both going to know it because you're meant to come together by the guardian angels and spirit guides. Oh, and by and also, this is a card for Gemini. So Gemini might be strong in your chart or their chart or around this reading. Next to the lovers, I have the Hermit. Yes, I do think you've been spending time alone. I have the Hermit here. And I also think during this alone time and getting balance, like I have the, the Justice card here, and determining that, hey, you're just not going to put up with any, you know, anybody pulling the wool over your eyes, or making you think there's somebody that they're not. Um, the Hermit is a card for Virgo. Virgo might be strong in your chart, or in someone else's chart around this reading. But um, spending time alone, seeking guidance on your path forward. So the Hermit is shining the lantern, and the lantern is shining right on the lovers. Huh! There is, they're, they're saying that the universe, your, your guardian angels, your spirit guides are trying to bring you in closer to someone that you're supposed to be with. I have the four of swords under the justice card. Yes, you've had to go through a lot of healing. Um, yes, there's a lot of truth and a lot of clarity that have, has come to you by spending all this time alone, either praying, meditating, soul searching, it's very spiritual if you see, look at those stained glass windows. Um, so, yeah, you have been spending time alone. And it's be helping you become balanced. And it's helping you become stronger and um, more determined to, to hold out for the right person. The Knight of Wands is actually under the Hermit and next to the Page of Wands. Now, this person might fly into your life. I mean, like out of nowhere. <laughs> like um, at a grocery store. They might even, you might have a fender bender or something with them. Because they kind of do fly around. They, they, you know, it, it could be because, um, you know, they have, they, they're very passionate for one thing. Okay. But they hold this staff of fresh starts and new beginnings. So whoever this person that's running in they're also ready for a new relationship. But I feel like they're going to come out of nowhere. <laughs> I have, and all cards are male or female. I have the star. Wow, another healing card. My God, gosh. I have the hermit. I had the four of swords. I had the star. You've really been through it. Um, the star, though, is the card for Aquarius. So Aquarius might be strong in your chart or in someone else's chart around this reading. But the star, this is healing to your bare bones. Seeing your own reflection in that pool of water. We're doing a lot of talking about you and the progress that you've made for yourself here in this reading. So, you remember the, the essence, the bare essence of who you are, healing right down to your bare bones, uh, seeing your own reflection come back at you. Um, it's very spiritual. Very, very spiritual. So, healing, healing. This is healing and seeking advice, seeking your path forward.
This is looking for truth and clarity. This is healing right down to your bare bones to the person that, that you are. I have the two of pentacles under the page of wands and next to the star. You're healing over um, some confusion that you were living in. I, th I think you were in a relationship before this that had you on a lot of highs and a lot of lows. Um, juggling those pentacles up and down, up and down. Rocky water, ships bouncing around. It's like hope one day that this relationship will work and no hope the next day that it will work. And it really took a toll on you. That's why you're coming out here. That's why you're saying, hey, look, I'm not putting up with this anymore. I have the Knight of Pentacles next to that. Um, they weren't, I, and it is next to the Two of Pentacles, so there's two things going on here. The Knight of Pentacles is a very, very slow-moving energy in the tarot deck. It looks like the horse is standing still. This can be Earth, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It might be in your chart or someone else's around this reading. But it's coming forth with a pentacle. But when? You know, it's like, we're going to find out when, because this is right under the Knight of Wands. So this Knight of Wands, when you bump into them, uh, they're going to have a pentacle. So I feel like they haven't been really ready to uh, commit either. And that when you two meet, it's a lovers, there's going to be that spark, and it's going to spark something off. They actually do have a pentacle. Um, so they may be slow to hand it out. Uh, not like this other person. This Knight of Pentacles, I think, is coming forward. I think it's finally reaching you. This is what your guardian angels and spirit guides have been trying to bring in towards you. Let's take out the second part of this reading. So, is it, so far, what I got is you're probably just going to run into this person someplace. It's like a bumping into or a... Um, you Maybe even just someone behind the counter that when you make eye contact... It all has to do with the eye contact here. And when you meet eye contact, there's something that stops you both in your tracks. And um, it, it leaves you both feeling like you don't want to leave the other one without exchanging at least a phone number or something. Okay. So up in your highest energy, I have the Wheel of Fortune. Yay. This is the universe. They're working for you. They're working for you. They're working for you. Um, they're trying to get you into a new life cycle. They're trying to move you forward for your better, for your fortune. That's why it's called Wheel of Fortune. And so this wheel, it spins, and it's spinning, and it's spinning, and it's trying to move you forward. It wants you to put down the burden. It's like you've been carrying this burden, and I think it's from your past. Um, it Like, love feels heavy to you. Love feels scary, heavy, something maybe you, uh, that's what you've experienced from love. But with the 10, it's a good card because there's no 11, and you will be putting down that the, all those wands. And the universe is doing everything they can to get you past that. And look, I have the Two of Cups. You know, this Two of Cups, and I have the Lovers, you're going to end up being best friends, divine soulmates, lovers. So it, it's, it's just a beautiful uh, relationship that's coming in for you. That's why you need to put down the wands so that you can... Um, accept it, allow, so that you can allow this relationship in. <clears throat> I do have the magician under the will of fortune and next to the knight of wands. Guess what? You're helping to manifest this. There is the symbol of intuition and knowing. And with the mag magician is, I think you actually feel it, okay, with this being under the will of fortune. You're feeling that something is coming near. Something different is happening you can feel a presence like. And um, I think you're actually manifesting this person to come into your life. You have all the tools. You know how to do it. It's gonna well, I'll point out this this magician is pointing right at the eight of wands, which is a lot of community. Remember, I said you, you don't even want to leave each other without at least handing out your phone number. I think that's what's gonna happen. I have the two of wands next to the magician. And this is under the Ten of Wands. So, 
putting down those wands. That's great. Oh, it's like you can breathe. And you're holding on to a staff of fresh starts and new beginnings with one hand and holding the world in another hand. So you are definitely getting ready to move forward. And you're contemplating what that's going to look like, what it's going to feel like. What is your new love? How are you going to recognize them? Well, it's going to be that spark in their eyes. It's going to be, um, you're going to bump into them somehow. It's going to be a, a chance encounter. It's not like anybody I don't think that you know already. I think it is somebody who um, either drops something in front of you or somehow the two of you just end up making eye contact. Um, and it's, it's that spark. So I have the Nine of Wands next to the Two of Wands and under the Two of Cups. The Nine of Wands is your feeling of being worn out down to a frazzle you know i feel like they're worn out too because this is under the two of cups all the delivery trucks it's just amazing um but it feels like they've been through it too like they've been through the ringer and uh they're holding a fresh a wand of fresh starts and new beginnings but i feel like they've tried before too and it's all failed and I feel like they feel like they're kind of beaten up over past relationships. So they're carrying this heaviness, this weight. Um, you're about ready to let yours go. And I think the universe is letting you know that um, this person and you probably have a lot in common. So under the Magician, I have the Page of Swords. And this is next to the Knight of Pentacles. So I think that when they start talking about that they're single, you know, and they want to get to know you better... Uh, I think you're going to check check up on them. You're going to find out, you know, look on Google them up, you know, and find out, you know, what you can about them to make sure they're real, to make sure they're not lying to you, to make sure they're single, to whatever it might be. So your guard will be up. You're not just going to jump into this relationship, even though the spark is there and the spark was there. You do hand out your phone number, but you're still going to be cautious. And you've made your declaration here to be cautious to start with in this reading with the Page of Wands. And you're going to stick to it. But there is going to be a lot of back and forth conversation going on. Texting, emails, uh, telephone calls, something like that. This is what's going to you know, lead the two of you forward. I have the King of Pentacles right next to the Eight of Wands, right under the Nine of Wands. This person is really committable. This person is um, mature-minded. So you're going to find out that um, they do have a pentacle. Um, they are, um, they could be Earth, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Uh, they might have that in their chart someplace. I do have two for Virgo. So um, if we're counting. But they're going to be very, um, they're employed <laughs> that's a big one uh they do they are self-supportive and um they they have they have things that they can offer and they they will want to offer if this is the right relationship for them but um this is how you're going to recognize them you're going to recognize them you're going to bump into them somehow you're going to make eye contact there's going to be a spark somebody's going to want somebody's phone number and you're going to give it out uh, they may even, you know, you may be weary of giving out yours. They may give you theirs and you will call them uh, if that's the way it goes. What you don't know is they have a pentacle. This is what you've been waiting for. This is where the reading ends. The reading ends that, yeah, they have a pentacle and they're very mature. And um, so, you know, they've kind of been through the ring or two on relationships. And you're going to hold true to yourself. You're going to you know, be very careful in moving forward with anyone. Uh, you actually, it comes as a surprise. You manifested all this conversation. You've actually helped bring them in without even knowing it. Without even knowing it. Because they've been on your mind. You don't know who, but you know that someone, you're waiting for someone here. You know there's someone out there for you. I'm taking out a card for timing now. Um, the description of the card will be uh, in the bottom of the description uh, under the video, okay? At the very bottom. So, because I have to look it up, 
the timing. I've taken out one card. I have to, uh, you know, take time to look it up because they're all so very different. And um, maybe, you know, in about 10 years I'll have it memorized. <laughs> Because I've been doing these other tarot cards for many, many, many years. Okay, we're going to draw. I always cut before I draw. And here we go. Ooh, the Six of Cups. Oh, that's nice. That's a soulmate card. That's really beautiful, isn't it? This is Six of Cups. Wow. You know, with the Six of Cups, you really might have known them in, in, during your childhood sometime. Maybe you went to elementary school together or something like that. But the timing of the Six of Cups, I will leave that timing at the bottom of the description under the video.